Hey, it's Ben here, and I'll be talking about the pros and cons of a new software launching called Web Detective. So what is Web Detective? Well, unfortunately, it's not another one-click site generator that will bring in money with just a few clicks of a button, nor is it the latest video marketing uh, secret ranking technology uh, with hidden loophole software and a sales page that's uh, full of income proof that's obviously been photoshopped. Um, none of those types of shiny tools at all, but in fact, it's a deep dive cloud-based analytics and spy tool that's created to give you a deep and valuable insight about your site, your visitors, and your competitors too um, that you can't really get with Google Analytics or many other types of analytics tools. So uh, why am I reviewing this? Well, there's kind of a big problem today in which marketers, um, they only kind of launch shiny objects or cool white label type apps and give them away. And uh, now these flashy softwares, they can help sometimes, of course. They're not all bad. But, you know, whatever happened to uh, real tools like deep dive analysis softwares that actually show you the pathway uh, to cheap traffic and actual profits, like what you should be optimizing and doing to outconvert and outsell your competition in your niche? Uh, tools kind of like serious businesses use, like a digital marketer, for example. You know, they're not really using the latest uh, YouTube ranking hack software there. Um, well, the truth is that um, you don't really see a lot of uh, buzz or attention around these uh, types of tools, or, nor are they developed that well because, well, they're kind of boring. It's like uh, health and fitness. You know, that special diet pill that's going to burn the fat instantly you hear about um, is a lot more uh, interesting than, uh, you know, the thing that everyone should be doing, which is just going to the gym in a basic uh, fitness program that will actually work. You know, no one wants to do it because, you know, the fitness program, well, it might realistically take a few weeks to start getting serious results and getting in shape. And that overnight pill where you're going to lose all the fat instantly, well, it just sounds so much better. And, you know, that's what people buy. So uh, that's why I'm going to be diving in and showing you what you can do with Web Detective. Now, um, uh, Web Detective, as you can see, there's tons of features that this can do. Uh, as far as spying on your competition or helping your own site. So I can't review all the features or we'd be here for hours, but I'll point out a couple ones so you can get the general idea of the type of quality this is and what it can basically do. Okay, so first we're going to start with um, just visitor analytics. Now what this can do is it will let you add different sites that you can analyze. And then all you have to do is paste a JavaScript code um, in your website. So just like Google Analytics works, you paste the code and then it will start uh, gathering and optimizing uh, the data. So you just click uh, details. Now I just uh, put this in about a few minutes ago as I was going through and testing out the software. So unfortunately, there's only uh, four visitors so far that have come to the page. Um, but uh, but that's also a good sign is because um, it works as soon as you paste in that code, it will start working, unlike Google Analytics, where it might take a day or so to start getting results. Basically, um, right here, you can get a, an overview of the bounce rate, uh, the average stay time, which is very important. And then you can uh, drill down into uh, a lot of these other modules here, like uh, the top refers. Um, over here, we don't have any results yet, but you would see traffic from what search engines are sending the most traffic with uh, the keyword. There's traffic from social networks with the keyword. Um, we can see the visitor type. Um, say, for example, if it's someone who's, uh, how many visitors are returning or not, you know, that's a big deal. Because if you don't have people returning or they're returning to the wrong pages or things like that, um, that says like that's a big flag that says something in your campaign or your site isn't working that you're you know you're you're attracting the wrong people uh, people aren't coming back and re-engaging with your content uh, you have content overview this is basically what your top sites are which ones you should optimize which ones are actually working and people are interacting with um, you can have the geo targeting uh, basically this will show you uh, where the majority of your visitors are coming from you know why is this important well, um, you know, say you were going to run a Facebook ads campaign and the majority of people interacting with your site and your content are coming from Canada f um, for whatever reason. You know, obviously you would want to make a Facebook uh, ads campaign targeting users of Canada is that that would get a, a much better click through rate for you as that's where for some reason people are interacting. Now, if you're trying to interact uh, and get people from uh, United States, you know, that's your customer avatar, but everyone's coming from Russia or something. Well, that's a, another huge red flag that you need to halt whatever you're doing. You know, stop buying uh, softwares and stuff and, you know, figure out, look through the data and figure out what's uh, going wrong um, so you can quickly turn around your site. Now, you have things like browser report, what browsers are, are working. So if you're getting the majority of people from Chrome, we well, better check to make sure that everything's appearing correctly in Chrome. You don't want to be losing tons of sales that way. You have a, a OS report. Uh, what devices people are coming from uh, as well. Now you also have something called website analysis. 
And this is very cool as you can um, uh, at basically uh, analyze any website you want, whether it's your website, someone else's website, and see some uh, important details. Uh, for example, um, here's one that I analyzed. Um, you can see you can get the Moz information, uh, backlinks, IP address information, uh, search engine index information. Uh, this is important here, the mobile friendly. It will show you um, what uh, rules you're violating. For example, if uh, you know you're, there's some sort of link that's too close together and it's affecting how people are viewing your uh, mobile uh, site. You know, if you look and you see that most people are coming from uh, uh, Android or something, and then you don't have a score of 100, uh, I do in this case, but maybe you have a score of 85 and something a content's blocking your site. Well, that's affecting sales and you're losing traffic, and that's going to make it harder for you to generate traffic and pay for ads. Uh, so that's very important. Now they also have like social network analysis. Now this is something that's usually only for like $200 per month type uh, analytics tools where it's going to analyze not just your site, but what's working uh, in social media, like how many mentions you're getting, how many shares you're getting across Facebook and Twitter, uh, things like that. Um, we, they also have some very cool things like uh, link analysis. So let's uh, go here. And basically what you can do is uh, type a URL. And it's going to analyze what type of links you're getting, like a total links, do follow links, internal links. And you can download the whole report. Um, we can see all the links here, uh, what kind they are, do follow example. You can see the external links. And, uh, you know, this is important, you know, just not to check for your site, but to see, you know, where are your competitors getting their links? Um, can you get them too? How are they outranking you? Um, you know, what backlinks, high quality do follow ones are they getting that maybe you can go to that same site and get that same backlink too uh, to outrank them. They have things like a malware scan. Now, if you're going to be using this as a service to other businesses, like providing them the reports or maybe even installing their sites on Web Detective. Uh, you know, this is something that's really going to get their attention and help them. Uh, for example, let's do a scan here. So you type in your uh, domain. And even if you don't think there's any malware on your site, well, there could be like a, a plugin or an image that um, Google or you know, one of these systems could detect up as a potential threat. And honestly, Google doesn't want to rank sites that uh, potential threats are coming up, malware threats. So you would need to uh, go in and figure out and uh, analyze them if you don't get a perfect score. Now, in this case, we got um, a safe score for the ones that I have integrated in here, uh, uh, AAVG and stuff like that. So that's uh, another thing that you can uh, use on your site or use on client sites um, to have them pay for. Uh, they also have uh, some cool things like keyword analysis. Now, this isn't just regular the keyword analysis like scraping Google AdWords, but you can do things like um, uh, see what sites uh, um, competitors are, uh, what keywords they're using in their content and sites so that you can kind of steal them. So in this case, I typed in smart passive income. We can see the, the, the headings that they're trying to optimize for quickly, uh, the, even like the H6 tags that they're trying to optimize for. And then we can go down here and see single keywords that are appearing the most, um, longer tail keywords like four word phrases down here, uh, journal one day business breakthrough, uh, Wall Street Journal, um, it's appearing 0.327% uh, of the time that, that he's trying to optimize for. We can steal that for ourselves to see uh, what's working. Um, that's just one part of the keyword analysis. Now, the analysis. Now, they also have the auto suggestions. This is going to bring up keywords that you can't find in Google AdWords, uh, like the auto suggestion tools in um, not just Google, but um, Bing and Amazon and things like that. So, uh, let's do a quick search here. Actually, we have to click this. Uh, we choose which ones we want to find auto suggestions from, start searching. And then, uh, Quickly, it will show you, here's some Bing ones. So number one, paleo diet, obviously. And then we can drill down and find even more that we can use in our campaign uh, to rank in Bing or on our site. And it goes into uh, you know Yahoo, Wikipedia, the top ones performing there. Um, uh, there's also uh, position analysis, Google correlated keywords. That's something different. Uh, we don't have time to go through everything here. Um, some other, another uh, tool that, 
I think is really helpful was um, uh, the rank. Oh, that was important, but there's uh, another one. Oh, keyword position tracker. Now this can actually track any keywords you want for any site to see how it's ranking across Google, Bing, etc. And if you get uh, the pro version, you can track unlimited amounts of different keywords, um, which is extremely important. You know, that's something the business want to see is that, you know, how they're performing, uh, are they making progress or, you know, how their uh, SEO is looking. All you have to do is go to add, you know, type in your keyword, uh, the website, um, select the country. So you can actually search, see how it's ranking in uh, uh, Tunisia, for example. It doesn't just have to be USA, Google. But uh, see these different keywords or these uh, different things it's working for. So this would be like Zimbabwe, Bing, Yahoo, uh, Google, things like that. And the language that you want. We're just going to cancel that for now. And then you go back to uh, um, the uh, keyword position. And you go to the reports. And then you'd actually see, um, you would just select your keyword and then uh, check the search date. And it will show you in Google, Bing, Yahoo, et cetera. It updates every two days um, where you're ranking for that keyword uh, for the site. So that's another really powerful thing. Uh, some other cool things, you have these utilities in here. Uh, you have a plagiarism check. You can check uh, for plagiarism or duplicate content. Um, there's another, this cool thing is a duplicate email filter. Uh, you know, I'd be using that. So if you have a list like Aweber, um, they charge you for duplicate emails. Actually, if you have two of the same email on like two different lists, they will charge you like see it as two separate ones. So you can upload your list here and it will duplicate it for out, uh, filter out all the extra emails so you can um, save money that way. Uh, there's like a, a meta uh, tags adder in these, in these utilities. And obviously you get the point that um, there's a lot of valuable things here. So, uh, you know, the pros, um, you know, analytics, it's, you know, maybe it can be a little bit boring, but it can have a drastic effect on your business. Just one tiny thing, you know, it's like uh, working out or eating healthy. You know, if you do it every day, uh, it's going to have a drastic effect in the long term for actually making money and actually being able to drive traffic and pointing out what opportunities you should be going after. Now, the cons of Web Detective, um, now you can use this for businesses but you'd have to be able to upgrade. You have to buy the OTO one. Um, uh, you can, you know, you can send them reports and stuff. But if you want to install their sites and things like that, uh, unfortunately, you have to buy the upgrade for that, um, which I didn't like. But uh, you know, that's how they're they're choosing to do it. Um, uh, there should be, I think, a way to maybe export the reports a little bit nicer. Now, all these you can, you know. Uh, export as like a CSV file, like the keywords you find or the, the backlinks analysis. Um, but maybe there could be a way where you could export in like a really nice looking report. You can email them. Um, but if you want like uh, it to have all the like the pretty graphics and stuff, you might have to take a picture that way, which can take some more time. Uh, so they don't have that installed yet. Um, you can get some of these stats on other smaller plugins. Uh, you know, Web Detective, this isn't the first one that can show you returning visitors. You know, I'm sure that there's other plugins out there uh, maybe in a, even a free one that can show you uh, how many returning visitors you get. I know Google Analytics can do a lot of that too. Now, can't do everything, can't do all this stuff, um, but you know, one or two of the things it can certainly do. Uh, so, you're, so no matter what they say, you know, this isn't a hundred percent unique. And another thing is, it, well, it doesn't do heat maps and the mouse tracking. Now, if you got that SpyStream app uh, that I did, now that can do the uh, the heat maps and mouse tracking. Uh, this one, it doesn't have that in it. And it also doesn't do uh, really advanced stuff like um, like advanced e-commerce funnel tracking, like something uh, like Kiss Metrics, uh, the one Neil Patel created, can do. Um, now, um, before you you know you worry about Kiss Metrics or advanced funnel tracking, like how they're like watching them exactly going through your funnel and things like that, um, you need to get a hold of a lot of this stuff that Web Detective can do first and start optimizing that. Before you worry about like the two hundred, three hundred dollar per month apps like Kiss Metrics, uh, that's what they charge. Um, before you start getting to that level, now if you're that level, then that's great. Um, you probably don't need a Web Detective if you're paying two hundred dollars a month for something a lot more. Um, you know that can do more of what you're looking for. But uh, you know if you're just using Google Analytics and maybe a, one or two little cheap Code Canyon apps, well, you know you need to upgrade to something serious like this to really dive in and make sure that you're 
you're able to drive traffic and you're finding those opportunities a lot better. Um, so, you know, if this looks like something that's going to help your business, um, I'm offering a lot of very powerful reseller apps that are also going to help your site uh, very much so along with Web Detective if you get Web Detective through my link during the launch. So you can check those out below. And uh, if you buy the front end, then you get all the front end bonuses. If you buy the OTO, with the, with the ability to uh, install this on other sites and have other um, businesses uh, integrate them into your Web Detective Cloud app, and you'll get all my OTO bonuses too. And it goes live at 11 a.m. And there'll be an early discount um, until 6 p.m. on that day. So uh, this can help you make sure to jump on that while it's very discounted, the early price and to get all those uh, really exclusive uh, non-private label rights junk stuff uh, bonuses below.